In this video, we're going to look at how to enlarge a shape with a negative scale factor. So here's an example. We're going to enlarge this shape with a scale factor of negative 2, using C as the center of enlargement. Let's just consider for a moment what, what would happen if you enlarged it by a scale factor of 2. Okay. So for instance, if I wanted to enlarge this point by a scale factor of 2, I went 1 to the left and 1 down. So instead, I would go 2 to the left and 2 down. So it would go to here. So in other words, what happens is each point becomes twice as far away from, this, from the center of enlargement. When it's a negative scale factor of my, or just say for instance it was a scale factor of negative 2, it still would get twice as far away, but this time because it's negative, it's on the opposite side of the scale of the center of enlargement. So for instance, this point here is 1 to the left and 1 down. So whenever it's a negative 2, you're going to double it and go the opposite direction. So instead of going 1 to the left and 1 down, you're going to go 2 to the right and 2 up. So it would go 1, 2, 1, 2. So it would go to here. So this point goes to here. This point here was 1 to the left and 2 down. So we're going to go 2 to the right, because instead of 1 to the left, it would be 2 to the right. Instead of 2 down, it would be 4 up, because we're doubling it. So we're going to go 2 to the right, 1, 2, and 4 up. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we've done that point, we've done that point. Let's do this point here now, okay? So it would be 1, 2, 3 to the left, and 1, 2 down. So instead of 3 to the left and 2 down, we're going to double it. So it would be 6 to the right and 4 up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so we've done this point. Now let's do this one. This one here is 1, 2, 3 to the left and 2 up. So instead of going 3 to the left and 2 up, we're going to double it and go the other way. So instead of going 3 to the left, we'll go uh, 6 to the right. And instead of 2 up, we're going to go 4 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 4 down. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Uh, just two more points to do. This one is 1, 2 to the left, and 2 up. So instead of going 2 to the left and 2 up, we're going to go 4 to the right and 4 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So done this one, and last one. This one here is two to the left and four, uh, two to the left and one down. So we're going to go four to the right and two up. So one, two, three, four, one, two. So whenever you've got a negative scale factor, you go the opposite direction. Okay. Now we just need to join them up. Okay, so as you'll notice, um, the shapes got twice as big, so this was 1, it's now 2, this was 4, it's now 8, and so on, so the, the shape is twice as large, but it's on the opposite side of the um, centre of enlargement. Also notice it's sort of been flipped over, okay? Uh, so that's sort of a common feature whenever you're enlarging by a negative scale factor. Okay, let's have a look at a different type of question now, where we've got to describe an enlargement, which is going to be a negative scale factor. So here we've got a shape, or two shapes, right? We have got, in the diagram, B is an enlargement of A. So B is an enlargement of A. So this is the object, because it's an enlargement of A, and this is then the image. Okay. It says, first of all, write down the coordinates of the centre of enlargement. There's a video on that already, on how to find the centre of enlargement. To do that, you just join up the corresponding corners. So you join up this one to this one. Okay, this one here would be this one here. Remember, whenever you've got negative scale factor, it's sort of flipped over. Uh, this one here would be this one up here. And as you notice, it all go through this point here, which is minus one, zero. Okay, next is write down the uh, scale factor of enlargement. So first of all, as you notice, it's been it's on the other side. The, the image is on the other side of the center of enlargement to the object. So first of all, we know it's going to have to be a negative scale factor. Okay. Now, the base of this one, or the length of the base of this one, was four squares. It's now two squares. The top bit, or uh, the the height of it, was four. It's now two. So we have halved it, okay? We have halved A to get to B. So the scale factor of enlargement would be negative a half, okay? It's negative 
because it's on the opposite side of the scale fact. Oh, sorry, negative. Uh, it's on the opposite side of the center of enlargement, and it is going to be a half because we have halved the sides to get from. Because remember, it says b is an enlargement of a, so a is with the object what we're starting with, and we're getting to b.